still die. Hi, I'm Alan Ranch, and welcome back to Playing With Your Tool. This week's episode, we're going to be playing with two tools. A little two-for-one special for you. It's sort of like when I go to your mom's house and your sister's there. <laughs> Dang. The two tools are your 18-volt Ryobi soldering station. Mm-hmm. And your 18-volt battery-powered Ryobi rotary tool. <laughs> Done. Well, all right. Let's give you a little rundown on these two tools right here. All right, first, let's start off with a soldering station. Now, this bad boy heats up to 900 degrees. Sounds like he's got something in common with your mother. Got yourself a three-foot reach for a variety of applications. Also sounds like this tool's got something in common with me. <laughs> Darn. Got yourself an iron holder for safe storage. Before I put in the battery, I want to show you a little something. You can plug this bad boy straight into the wall. You can use it with a battery or just a regular cord. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Grab that 4 amp because I ain't no punk. So if you're not a read, you just press this right here button. Turns them on. The LED light lets you know when she's good and hot. Well, there she blows. The green light indicator means that she's good and hot. But y'all need to wait a little bit because we ain't ready to do no soldering just yet. Let's move on to the next tool. Next up, the Ryobi Rotary Tool. This guy right here has got a top speed of 34,000 rotations per minute. I mean, dang. I mean, honestly, it kind of reminds me of Earnhardt going around Talladega 34,000 times per minute. <laughs> that fast. They got the rubber feet on the bottom to prevent some slippage. And I, I, ain't, I ain't front dogs. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can't even move it. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Dang it. Dang. Some integrated keyholes for your 33 accessory tool package right here. Comes with anything you might need, man. I mean, you can file your nails with these. <laughs> I mean, get pretty, y'all. Get pretty. So you got yourself a 36 inch in length flexible pen right here. I mean, look how big that is. Dang. I can't move it. Dang. Who wants to see how fast 34,000's rotation per minute is? Dang. Here we go. Dang, boy, dang! Get down, woo! Easy, boy, dang, he don't want to stop, do he? Dang. Yeah, Sharon, I'm cool. Go back to your dang house, all right? God. Make a little noise and all your neighbors come running. <laughs> dang. So I got plans for these two tools right here. The Dirty Plays boys over there at the Dirty Plays podcast are in an NFL fantasy league. And they ain't got no trophy. So I told them, your boy gonna hook them up. But I gotta think of some ideas. Why don't you come along and let's think of some. Let's hit the drawing board. Man, I just can't think of nothing right now, man. Think, Alan. Think. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure them dirty plays boys like space. Let's see what we can draw up here. First thing I was thinking is maybe represent something to do with our friendship. Maybe a path travel. Hmm. Yeah. And like I said before, them dirty plays boys love the space. So I gotta draw our mother. Mother Earth. Cause we're nothing without our mother. Dang. Since I don't know what any other countries look like, I'm just gonna draw America. Yeah, America. Fuck. Frick yeah. This is water. This is America. This is planet Earth. Next, maybe draw the moon. Because we must always remember to shoot for the stars. That's, dang. I still remember how to use this thing. <laughs> Perfect. Draw a little crater field right here. Yeah, a little crater found. 
Boom, boom, boom. Meteor right. You know what? I'm really liking that moon talk. Let's do the crescent moon as well. Dang. This trophy's gonna look real nice. That's a, that's a pretty good... I should write children's books. Alright, so now if we put my plans together with the road travel with the parallel lines. Mother Earth. The, what the hell's that? The moon. And the crescent moon. You put it all together and you get... What the... Dang. Well, arguably, that'd probably be one badass trophy. We can't do it. So, back to the drawing board. Wait, I got an idea. Would you look at her? Forged her up myself with a bunch of old aluminum cans. Beer cans, might I add. I'm thinking. I'm thinking lightning bolts. I'm thinking 417, 417. Look, now 417 is something to live your life on. April 17th is the day of love. Now, look, I'm going to give you a little background story. Our friend Joda from Slayer Bites podcast, him and his girl Jess, right? He would do anything for her. They got together on April 17th. Now, this is many moons ago. Probably like 1999 or something. That date's been in concrete ever since. It means a lot to us. The day of love. It's got to be on this trophy. So let's see if we can do that. Enough talking. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's start using these bad boys. All right. Like I said, got to be four, one, seven. Now remember to always wear safety eyewear. But since I was born with these, I'm good to go. All right, I already got this a little bit started, but I'm gonna finish it up with y'all. Clean your tool off with the sponge right here. Ooh, boy, it's hot. Let's turn them down a little bit. It's on there like a brick. And when you're done, just place them in here. Pull off a little bit. All right, now instead of boring y'all, I'm gonna put the 417 on here, and then you'll see what's next. Soldering station, <laughs> you did one heck of a job. <laughs> Dang. Hey, you say you want lightning bolts? <laughs> Done. Yeah, I'm thinking that's gonna look good. That's a badass trophy, man. But something's missing. Man, what's missing here? Like, wh what could it be? Wait a minute. Dale! The name of the senior, the junior, and the good wrench. Amen. Dear Dale, please forgive me, for I know it's only been three hours since the last time I said a prayer to you. Forgive me, Dale. Dale, I'm reaching out to you for some help. I need you to bless this trophy. Because them dirty plays, boys, they need a good old trophy for this NFL Fantasy League. <sighs> and also, could you also let me win? I would love to win that trophy, Dale. It would mean the world to me. Dale, I knew I had to integrate your name somehow into this trophy, and I think I found the exact way. Please, Dale, I need you to make sure that it looks as good as both of our mustaches. Amen. All right, so with the help from our Lord, I think I know what needs to be done. Done! You tell anybody, I'll beat your butt. Dang. Yup. I mean, dang. Look at that. It ain't one, ain't two, it's three, baby. Get in. <laughs> All right, Rotary Tool, let's clean her up. I didn't forget about you. Looking nice, polishing it up like that. Let it do with the work, man. Let it work. Let me change my accessory. You just push up this switch, 
unscrew, take them out. Store your accessories in the proper location. I'm gonna use this guy to get that excess solder. Spark's gonna be flying. I'm gonna polish her up and let's give them boys a call to show off this here trophy. All right, Richard from Dirty Plays is calling. Let's show him the trophy. Hey, it's Richard from Dirty Plays. You ready to see this trophy? Yeah. Mate, come on, look at this. Dog, oh, can you see it? Can you see this? Can you see that? What else? <laughs> oh. With lightning bolts, hey. It ain't me. It's Alan. Nah, man, that's where I live. The judge says I can't leave. I can't go outside. How'd you buy that gold chain? It was given to me. Yeah? Yeah, in prison. Later. <laughs> now it's time to write dirty plays on this trophy. <laughs> Let's get going. be a tattoo artist and we're gonna put champ on the back oh shit <laughs> hey at least I spelled it right you know what? This trophy reminds me a lot of myself. Half-assed, but badass. Now, let's call Sam from the Dirty Place. You want to see this trophy? Look at this trophy! Yeah, I know y'all look at that. Look at that. Uh, just send that to me right now. That's going to be sitting in my basement. Nah, man. That's mine, man. Later. See ya. Well, all right. That ends this week's episode. And I really hope y'all give them Dirty Plays boys a listen to. If you like hanging out with some good old boys and shooting the shit and talking about sports, you'll like the Dirty Plays podcast. You can find it anywhere on Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Spotify. <laughs> Look them up. You're going to have yourself a good time. Also, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little weird, but they're all going to be a little weird, y'all. If there's any other Ryobi tool you want me to review, just leave a comment down below. Us here at the Slayer Park Network, we got a lot of cool things coming up for y'all. If you like music and technology, check out the Slayer Bites podcast. Them boys is pretty funny, and they'll educate you on all them technology things. I mean, dang. And they like good music, too. Well, thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you ain't playing with your tool... You're a fool. Keep it real.